First and foremost, CSAFE is a center of excellence of NEST. CSAFE was created to provide a venue for academic researchers and forensic practitioners to communicate and collaborate and to develop scientifically sound methods that are reproducible and objective and that can improve forensic practice. The work that forensic practitioners do and the work that we do in the aid of forensic practitioners is critically important for the fair administration of justice. So people's lives are on the line every time they provide testimony in court. Our aim is to develop the statistical and scientific foundations for digital and pattern comparison disciplines. We work on firearms and tool marks, handwriting, footwear impression analysis, blood stain pattern analysis, latent print. The idea is to develop objective, reproducible methods to evaluate evidence in those areas, with a focus, of course, on uh, making sure that whatever it is we work on eventually finds its way into practice. We work with a range of different crime labs and professional organizations ranging from lawyers type organizations to leading uh, professional organizations for forensic scientists like AAFS. Now sometimes it's government agencies that work with forensics like the Forensic Science Commission in Texas. We also work with the OSACs, you know, the federally supported groups that are developing standards for forensics supported by NIST. We also reach out to labs nationwide to the private sector, for example, to software and hardware developers. Community engagement is critical to the success of CSAFE. We try to build algorithms that will allow forensic practitioners to quantify the degree of similarity they observe between two items. We're essentially trying to answer the question whether two bullets came from the same firearm were fired through the same firearm, whether two cartridge cases were fired through the same firearm. Uh, working with firearms examiners is really crucial for us. So we've been job shadowing in some labs. What we've also done is we've brought firearms examiners, practitioners to CSAFE and explain how, what kind of thinking went into our algorithms. And then of course we're presenting our academic results. We're going to conferences, we have posters, we have workshops, and we're offering research opportunities to undergraduate students, to graduate students, depending on their background. Our research is geared towards improving how forensics is used in the legal system, and my work in CSAFE is very much focused on that rubber meets the road context in which forensic methods are introduced in courtrooms. I also do work looking at how uh, psychological tools, uh, measures that could reduce cognitive bias can be introduced in laboratory settings. I also look at compliance systems. How do we improve systems and organizations? And so I'm very interested in the ways that we can improve quality controls at crime labs. I collaborate primarily with researchers at the University of Virginia to conduct fingerprint uh, research using Houston Forensic Science Center's blind quality control program, a blind testing program. Forensic examiners can't always step away from their job duties long enough to design a research study, and that's really where CSAFE comes in. They lend expertise in research design and statistics, and being able to collaborate with laboratories is a win-win for everyone. I was very interested early on in how can we present forensic evidence in a more careful way to jurors or even just how do jurors evaluate forensic evidence? What do they find powerful about it? It's possible to do large-scale experiments these days with mock jurors, people who are not actually serving as jurors. We've been able to survey, at this point, you know, over 10,000 people through online experiments. And so in general, what we've learned from these studies is quite positive, that, that jurors are careful, they are rational, they will jump to conclusions if they aren't given context, but if they're given appropriate context, they can really reach pretty nuanced conclusions about the evidence. CSAFE has spent a lot of time and effort developing a wide range of webinars, courses, workshops, and other resources to aid forensic practitioners and legal professionals. CSAFE Learning 
is a new educational environment that compiles all of those resources into one centralized, easy to use location. At CSAFE, we're fortunate to have both undergraduate and graduate research assistants working on our projects with researchers every single day. Students truly are the future of the forensic science and legal fields. And we really value the innovative ideas that they bring to our work. Each summer, we host a number of undergraduate students in a 10-week immersive research experience for undergraduates internship program. In an academic setting, students have an opportunity to learn directly from our faculty researchers with courses that they've developed and are teaching at institutions across the world. Everything we produce is in the public domain. All the databases we have created, the code we have written, so software we have produced, papers, videos, webinars, you name it, it's available to anybody to use.